it's uh, time to leave uh, Fridtjof uh, Harbor or Hamena, as they say in Norway. Go and have a look at the glacier. Go in there, and before we go out, and we will sail another 15 nautical up to uh, Trykhamna safe harbor. Probably that will be the day, and we get a uh, quite late start. I think it's 10:30 or 11 o'clock soon. But uh, the beauty up here is you can sail as. Uh, long as you want during the day because it's one not get dark Dreamy, breezy, we go. This is like our first glacier. We have never been so close to a glacier with the same. No, it's like seven degrees. Seven degrees. Good enough the first time. Are you happy? So that was a nice uh, little trip into the glacier there. Our first. I don't know how many times we said, said that. So this was a nice trip into the glacier. We, we didn't go too close, but uh, I guess that's. Uh, good enough since we are newbies with the uh, glacier sailing but there were hopefully we'll get closer another time this was fine yeah but it was a good size glacier yeah. we will uh, look up some facts on it and probably add it to the, this uh, now we are out in open wind and uh, are on a good yeah on So sophisticated on board. Yeah. Dog house yeah. in plastic. <laughs> you are getting hungry when you're sailing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we eat quite a lot. And the sea gives you hunger. Mm. Mm. But we have a really nice sail mm. up the coast of Spitsbergen. Spitsbergen, yes. Mm. We're heading to um, Trigghamna. Trigghamna. Which is actually in English safe harbor. Yeah. Mm. Trigghamna is both English, uh, it's both Norwegian and Swedish. Yeah, have a look at the scenery. Not too bad. Actually, we could and, say it's And very you can good. see here, you're going there, and this is the safe harbor or Trigghamna. You go in there. And Longyearbyen is there. in there, mm. so that's yeah, 
probably go in there tomorrow. Mm. And the grey stuff, it's glaciers. Yeah. Which in Norwegian is Breen. Yeah. So we that what is the fridge of glacier which we stayed and then now we're coming around going up there and then tomorrow in there. Yeah. Yeah. And but the beauty with this is that we can uh, come up there whenever we want. It's still light. Yeah. Yeah. It's daylight but 24 hours. But it will hours. take us five hours more mm. until we get there. Mm. You can see that. That's the time of arrival. Alkepinten. Do you want to hike up there? There, yeah, because it's supposed to be a hike. Yeah, I think it is a very tough hike. Yeah, I think so too. By the way, did we mention that it's like, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock in the evening. And yeah, it is. It's like midday. It's like midday. There is some people as well in there. They have, do they have kayaks or what do they have? They have tents. Yeah, they have tents. I don't think they're thinking that there's going to come some ice bears here. It's a nice anchoring. We just dropped anchor. And uh, I, I can't film Jeanette because she is in the sun. Look, maybe. Yeah, it's possible. And. Uh, we will enjoy a little beer. Did you ho hear the sound? Look. Pilsner Urigel. <coughs> there is two other boats coming in. Nordenlicht and Lady Aztec or something like that. Still cleaning the anchor a little bit, but now we go into Longyearbyen and see if we can rent the rifle so we can go ashore somewhere or start to go ashore. We have never set foot on Svalbard yet, even though we are here, but our feet has not been on the soil or land or yeah. We have a seal over there. Where there is a seal, there ought to be an ice bear wanting to have some food. Yeah. And now you want to see an ice bear coming and take these two wonderful little seals. No, it's not that I want it. It's, it's just that it it's is the normal thing. It's the nature. Shall I continue to take it up? Yeah, you can take up the anchor. It's 18 meters. Uh, we anchored on 14 meters. So you see two of them now on each. Yeah. On one rock. Yes. One, two seals, and one wife. Happy wife, that is. Lady Aztec is going to climb Alcone today, we heard on the radio. And Alcone is, is uh, that one over there. 
we have the small cruise ship Stockholm over there coming in. We are going out and they are going in into Trikhamna. There you can see, I think that's like more the like of the shape of Alkunet, where it's supposed This is a better angle. I don't know if this is visible, but there is a clear edge in the water. We want from clear water to, I guess it's like glacier water here. Yeah, I Do think you see it's it? glacier water. Yeah. You see the line there? Totally visible clear on one side now in are in clear water beautiful sail today Alconet in the background towards Longyear Bay We are getting closer to uh, Longyearbyen, it's around that corner over there, but if you look on the top of the mountain over there, it looks like an army of polar bears standing and guarding the entrance, but I looked in the binoculars and it's actually uh, like uh, satellite-ish uh, domes. Uh, that are happening there and I read about this or did see something on television that a lot of satellite companies uh, have some dishes here because it has something to do with the orbit around the earth it's very short something like that what did you say? I just said that there's uh, a lot of boats going into Longyearbyen today. It's gonna be a... It's not such, such a huge place. It's not... Uh, it looks like that is the place to be. For the weekend, yes. The red one is us. These are... Uh, passenger ships. Approaching Longyearbyen airport I guess we have it in there someone but if somebody has been flying into Longyearbyen this is where you land this is the airport and I guess the airstrip is all the way from down there and down to here then like the village is in there somewhere. So that's that's kind of hardcore. They have the water slide out. Yeah that would be cool. Sauna and water slide out to the sea, Janet said it. Yeah. So this is a lovely morning in Longyearbyen. We will have breakfast. Outside. Did you ever think, I thought you would have a, a cockpit uh, breakfast in Longyearbyen? No. No. It, I, I think it was never in my imagination. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, the it will be like this tomorrow as well. Oh, will and, and then the rain will come. Oh, okay. For just a day or? For the rest of the, the forecast. Oh! <laughs> Today we are doing some maintenance. We have a split dagger board. I don't know why that happened. Maybe we hit something or whatever, but it's. Uh, I will show you. Uh, how it looks like and we have to cut it off I thought I maybe could take it out and uh, repair it and have it as a spare or something like that but um, 
that will be too complicated in the water so I will just have to cut the, the pieces off I will show you I guess you can see there so the, the anger board is just above the waterline I will tilt the boat a little bit and then I can get closer to it yes I can show you here if you give me the camera so I'm cutting the yes ab above you see the blue line there where I marked that's like where the hull is when it's so I will cut that part out well I must say it's great to have a mechanic on board a handyman that's what they told us a long time ago that's the best thing to have on board but then Frederick insists this is his wife that is best to have on board yeah. isn't that right yeah the wife <laughs> is the best thing to have on board and I say a handyman <laughs> The dagger board is helping the rudder when we are steering. So maybe now we can't have as much uh, sail up and probably the autopilot will also use more power, but it's not a big problem. Mission accomplished. And uh, here is the cut off part of the dagger board. And now uh, uh, we feel like Alex Thompson, who like did two thirds of Van der Globe with only one dagger board. So if we can do it, we can do it. And if you haven't seen the the, the YouTube movie, uh, if you haven't seen the YouTube mu movie Relentless about uh, Alex Thompson when he tries to win the Van der Globe 2016, that's a must see. It's amazing. It's really yeah, amazing. this is hard, the boys. The stamina. Yeah. Mm. So watch that, and um, yeah, you will enjoy. So you can see we are raft up there on the inside, and the bigger guys are on the outer side. And there is even a, the biggest guys anchored out there behind them. You can see. And now we will go in and. Do some shopping and then we're off Need tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we will at least go out on anchor. We are passing by the container harbor. Oh, they're lifting on the car there, you see? Yeah, I saw. Been yeah. to uh, Sysslemesten. Sys who is the big chief here yeah. in Svalbard and we they were checking nice. how to to buy alcohol because it's a tax-free area and you require an aeroplane ticket but since we sailed here we thought we need something else otherwise we can't buy the tax-free ration yeah. so have you got any information uh, they will get back to us yeah but what we think is the strangest thing is that today it's July 8th and we are the first boat asking for it. <laughs> yeah, but I think we can survive without it, but anyway. Yeah, I think so too. But we have a lovely day here, as you can see. And... Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so we better enjoy yeah. when it comes. And here comes this interesting uh, bus stop because they are raced up and I uh, and I guess that's because of the snow so uh, otherwise when they plow the streets they be too low and it's really funny okay, sorry so it's really uh, funny the way that they park their um, not snowmobiles snowmobiles but they're all over the place. Yeah, there's a big parking. Yeah, we'll see it when we come down. And around it, would be, the it would be interesting to come here in the winter. Yeah, so here you see the bus stop. They walk up to it and quite clever. So it, this is a war memorial. Yeah. They do have them in Norway since they were uh, under occupation of Germans. What was this uh, held by the Germans, Svalbard? 
it is uh, I'm not so sure if it was hold but they they fought to keep it uh -huh. so we have to look it up because we know that they, they, that they, uh, they 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 blew up the radio transmitter on Björn Öja for so the Germans should not get hold of it otherwise uh, there were some in the south and some German people yeah. This might be the one of the nicest shops we have been in whole Norway and we find that in Longyearbyen in Svalbard it's like wow they have everything here it is really wow yeah the shopping went well and now we are on our way back to the boat and i guess these uh, caravans on what is it say Slay, sledge uh, thing kind of cool I guess they have a lot of snow here during this time when they use these guys probably for some expedition things and this is what they call the chocolate river comes up there I think you can see the color there it's coming all over up there. Chocolate River. This is what Ed said yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh, Chocolate River. But it the looks glaciers. like Yeah, but it looks like chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we have filled some fuel for uh, the dinghy at the northernmost fuel yeah. station. So it was uh, a rather good price. It was uh, Norske Kroner. 14. Okay, 14.7. That would be like 1.4 euro, 1.5 euro maybe. Yeah. So. Very good. Yeah, per liter. Per liter. All the bags for cruise ships, they will go out. There is a lot of these smaller cruise ships, like the white one here and uh, Stockholm over there, it's a very beautiful one and, and also of course these bigger guys is here as well So they have a very interesting pontoon here, so every part of the floating pontoon is made out of this uh, PVC uh, plastic uh, things look at this and everything is like pipes and glued or welded somehow together and of course this is a uh, good for a, a marine environment to not have steel or anything like that this is the diesel 1445 nuke that's like 150 euro maybe around there 160 that's Antigua isn't it? is this Antigua? no yeah it is Antigua yeah that's a quite big one as well and then uh, Bush Point is coming over here and we are also wrapped up but this is the way it is here having a laundry day. Yeah, we did some laundry. Cleaning boat. Yeah. Like weather kind of thing. But like, uh, so some guy's name is you could look at a barometer and like go into, uh, so the thing is it was so frustrating on the forecast. I thought I was going to do a train or something. I would have like, winds from the northeast. I'm a Pilsner as well. And we already have uh, had we are discussing weather here. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What is the weather looking like, Wed? Shite. Shite. 
Shai. Comes from an Irish. So, but it was very interesting. Uh, I did uh, trying to make myself useful on a boat since I don't do the oil shells and uh, you don't. engines and anything like that. I thought I'd make myself. And now you're telling me you don't do oil changes. <laughs>